Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for this coming out here. May God bless you all. The former presidential aspirant, Adamu Garaba, has taken to his verified Twitter page to send a message to the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, after the youth wing of the religious body stated that they won't let their members vote for a Muslim Muslim ticket in the 2023 presidential election. Vanguard reported that the chairman, the North Central Zone of the body, Afraid, told journalists that Christian youth in the country have decided not to support the Muslim presidential ticket. Shortly after this report went viral, Adamu Garaba urged Khan to stay away from politics. He claimed that the religious body should be political, adding that they should not allow religion to define politics. He also stated that electors should be allowed to choose their candidates and religious bodies should not raise tension in the country by speaking on political issues in his ways. The way Khan drives into political affairs of this country, advocating for personalities as opposed institutional objectivity that is enshrined in the combination of Bart and Kasim ticket means that Khan may so have to register with INEC as a political party too. The foundation of Khan should be a political, a body of represented men and women of this country who should do more to bring moral consciousness to Nigeria, even though we know that they have been against the APC, but using religion in politics in way below bow of responsibility. All religious, irrespective of their beliefs, should kindly stay away from politics and let the electorate choose their candidates as required by democracy. Why must we must be careful not to make toxic the already tensed environment we found ourselves today. Our generation cared more about food, shelter, good infrastructure, better health care system, sound education, etc. We don't care whether our leader is facing east or west. We simply need these things. We cannot allow religion to define the politics of the turbulent 21st century. The foundation of Khan should be a political using religion and politics is way below the bar of responsibilities. All religious bodies should kindly stay away from politics and let the people choose their candidate as required by democracy. He said, well, I want to ask this question. If Bola Tinubu were to be a Christian and he pick a Christian as a running mate, would Muslim agree with that? Is it because this thing affects the Christians. So it's not sin. It's not, it's not normal. Okay, let me not use sin. It's not normal. As in, it's normal. Because he picked Muslim, Muslim now. It's normal. But if, he, if the person now Christian, you can't go pick Christian. I believe this Muslim, even Greek, will not allow people to rest. They won't allow people to drink water and drop their cup. On the table why are we like this this is called hypocrisy it's not good what you know that someone do it to you you won't like it don't do it to another person but Latinubu of all people when we say I think he talks in their experience that was the only thing I could hear the day of APC primary I am experienced that is the only language I could hear clearly, which is which is bundle of experience. Bolatinubu went and picked a Muslim in a religious country like Nigeria. Even as the country safe, they fragile because of these uh, activities of Boko Haram, you know, Iswap, bandit, killing people, destroying. Properties worth of billions of nairas, displacing millions of Nigerians. He not think that one. He went ahead and pick a Muslim 
as a running mate and they want Christians to clap for him. Make with they talk true now. You say Khan should not talk. If Bola Tinubus were to be a Christian, Murik would not talk. They would be the first person to raise alarm. That the country, they want to turn the country to Christianity. What is going on today? Um, in Lagos State, they see the drag of hijab for school. Now, so this muruk, they, sh they shout, they talk here and there and all that, that they are depriving them from their rights. Why wouldn't they allow them, allow their children to be wearing hijab to, to class in a, a public school, not even a Muslim school? You understand? If that thing they paint them like that, they know if they paint them like that. Why won't this? Why won't things be even a bigger problem to Nigerians? Knowing too well that the situation of Nigeria right now is really pitiable. Honestly speaking, maybe these people have an agenda, and that is why they are trying to do this. What Bola Tinubu did. Is wrong. That is the truth. But since he has decided to stay up to this, no problem. It's his choice. He has made his choice. No one decides for anybody to pick uh, pick he or our choice. He has made his choice. Nigerians too will make their choice. So for Adamu Garaba to say can should not talk. I don't think that one makes sense at all. They have every right to talk. They have every right to say, if you want us to participate, if you are thinking that we are still relevant in this country, why will you pick a Muslim as your running mate? I beg my people, make an not to talk too much. What's your take? Kindly share your view below the comment section. Thank you very much. Bye for now.